Hey guys, I'm so excited that you guys joined us today. Do you want to play a quick game with me before Miss Barry gets in here? Come on, I want you to stand up and mirror the things that I do. If I raise my hand, you gotta raise your hand just like me. If I raise my other hand, do it just like me. Are you ready? Come on, let's do this. Ready? Here we go. Raise this hand. Let's start out easy. And then this hand. Can you put both hands to the side like this? And the other side like this? What are some things that you do whenever you get dressed in the morning and get ready and you stand in front of your mirror? Do you brush your teeth like this? What about fixing your hair? Do you fix your hair? Do you fix your beard like Mr. Berry? Like me, I fix my beard and the oh. Oh, hey, Miss Barry. <laughs> hey, you started with that Oh, We were just playing a game really quick. I want to play a fun game with the kids before we get started. Okay, well, that sounds like fun. It was fun. Have you reviewed what we learned last week yet? Um, not yet. Do you, do you want to do that? Sure. Okay. So, last week we learned about how God created the whole earth. He created light. He created the stars and all the planets. And He created the plants and the animals. Absolutely everything. He did, and he did it with special design and a great purpose. But his greatest creation is what we're gonna talk about today. And he gives his greatest creation purpose too. So come on kids, we're gonna have a great day. Let's jump right into it. God's greatest creation. Well, today we are learning that God's greatest creation is you and me. God created each of us in His image, and that's how, unlike any other thing that He created. So let's go over our Bible verse for today before we get into our lesson. Our Bible verse today comes from Psalm 139, verse 14. Can you read it with me? It says, I will praise thee, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are thy works, and that my soul knoweth right well. Great job, guys! This is one of my absolute favorite Bible verses. Can we say it again, but this time let's whisper. Can you whisper this verse with me? Psalm 139, 14. I will praise thee, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are thy works, and that my soul knoweth right well. Great job! I think you probably almost have this verse memorized, but can we say it just one more time? And this time, let's say it in a loud voice. Can't hear you. Good job! Your voices are ready. Here we go. Psalm 139.14 I will praise thee, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are thy works, and that my soul knoweth right well. Great job going over that Bible verse with me today. I hope that it sticks with you as you go throughout your week. That verse is special to me because it tells me about how God created all of us wonderfully, and we are his most special creation. So let's dive right into our lesson today, where we learn about how God created us in His image. Hey kids, we've been learning about creation this month and how God created everything. He created the sun, the moon, and the stars. He's created the light and the atmosphere. He's created the water and the earth and all the plants and animals that live on it, God has created everything. What is his most special creation though? Is it animals? Is it the stars? Could it be the moon or the sun? What is God's most special creation? Boys and girls, God's most special creation is you and me and everybody. We are God's most prized and most special creation because we are made in His image. We are different and unique because God made us in His image. But have you ever stopped to think 
what it means to be made in God's image? What does it mean to be made in his likeness? The Bible teaches us the answer to that question. So let's look at the book of Genesis, chapter 1, verse 26. Take out your Bible and turn there with me. The Bible says, And God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. And God blessed them. And God said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it. And have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. God created people with a very special purpose. The world would teach us that a big bang happened and humans just appeared, or we evolved. But the Bible teaches us that God designed us and he gave us a purpose. Some of the purposes that are mentioned here in the passage that we just read is that we are to have dominion over the earth. We are to rule and have authority over things, to be managers or stewards over the earth so that we can take care of it. Another one of the things and purposes that we are to have is husbands and wives are to one day have children and to grow those children to know and to love and serve and worship God. Boys and girls, your purpose and my purpose is to know God and to love Him. You see, we are unique in that we can have a relationship with God. We can love Him. We can serve Him. We can know Him intimately. We can learn from His Word who God is. That is what is important and special about being made in the image of God. You know, there's a lot of things that go on in this world where it doesn't seem like people understand this. They don't understand that all people are made in God's image. And people hate each other. People hurt each other. They'll even go as far to kill one another. God doesn't want it to be this way. God wants us to love Him above all. And whenever we love God with all that we are, it'll help us to love our neighbors too. It'll help us to love all other people, no matter what they look like or how old they are or how young they are. We know that God made them in His image too, after His likeness. And so we should love all all people, because they are all made in God's special image. Boys and girls, you are made in God's image. You are his representative. You are made after his likeness. And you are to show the world God through your life. This reminds me of a story in the New Testament where Jesus was being questioned by some people about paying taxes. They said, why are we supposed to pay taxes? Or should we even pay taxes? And Jesus, he asked them a question. He says, does anybody have a coin? Somebody show me a coin. And a man reaches into his pocket and he pulls out a coin. And Jesus asked him a question. He says, whose image is on that coin? And the man looks at it and he says, Caesar. Caesar was the ruler at this time. The man said, Caesar's uh, inscription and his image is on this coin. And Jesus said, pay to Caesar what is Caesar's. His image is on it, so pay it to him. And then Jesus says something else, and this is really great. He says, pay to God or give to God what is God's? The man should have, should have asked, what do you mean? And Jesus would have said, you are made in the image of God. God's image is on you. So give your life to God. Boys and girls, that is what's unique about you and me, is that we are created 
to worship God and to know Him and to give our lives to Him. We are so much different than all of the all of other creation because of that fact, because we are made in His image to worship Him. So are you worshiping Him with your life today? Are you giving yourself to God each and every day, allowing God to use you? Do you love people? Do you realize and understand that all people, no matter the color of their skin, no matter how young they are, no matter how old they are, no matter if they're big or small, short or tall, all people are created in God's image. Are you showing them that? Are you showing them that you love them and that you care for them? That's what God wants us to do, to care for all in the world and to show them that God loves them and that we love them too. Boys and girls, would you pray with me and ask God to help us to understand that all people are created in God's image and then ask God, God, Will you help me realize that I'm created in your image too? And will you help me represent you well on this earth? Pray with me. Dear God, thank you so much for creating me in your image after your likeness. Lord, help me to show your love to a world that is in need of your love. God, a world that is hurting and in pain. God, help me to show them that all people are created in God's image. And it doesn't matter who they are, where they come from, or what they look like. But everybody is created in God's image. So God, help me to love them. And God, I pray today that you would help each boy and girl to know that they are created in your image. Help them to love you and to worship you and to fulfill your purpose for their life. God bless us today, and may we honor you in all we do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hey, Ellie, look what I have with me today. It's a mirror. Can you see yourself? Yeah? Can we make silly faces? Yeah. Okay. Here. Can, what silly faces can you make? Whoa, that is a super silly face. What's another silly face you can do? <laughs> can you do surprise? <laughs> Whoa, those are super silly faces. We are looking in a mirror today, and the mirror helps us see what we look like, right? Right. Let's look and see. What color eyes do you have? Blue. Blue eyes? Blue. What color hair do you have? Blue. Yeah, that's okay. What color hair do you have? Black. Black. Blonde. Blonde hair? That's right. Good job. Whenever we look into a mirror, it helps us see exactly what we look like. When you look in a mirror, what do you see? Sometimes when people look in the mirror, they see things about themselves that they don't like. Maybe they have curly hair and they wish that they had straight hair. Or maybe they have straight hair and they wish they had curly hair. Or maybe they have brown eyes and they wish they had blue eyes. You have brown eyes. I do have brown eyes, that's right. Or maybe they have blue eyes and they wish that they had green eyes. Every person looks different, but we are all created in the image of God. God created us to be exactly what He wanted us to be. He created us to look exactly how He wanted us to look. So Ellie, let's look in the mirror. You see your blue eyes? Mm -hmm. Let's thank God. You do have eyelashes, they're beautiful. Let's thank God for your blue eyes that help us see. Can you say that? Yeah. Say, thank you, God. Thank you, God. For my blue eyes. For my blue eyes. That help me see. That, that help me see. What else can we thank God for? We can thank God for our strong arms. Can you show me your strong arms? Strong arms. Say, thank you, God, for my strong arms. 
Thank you guys for my strong arm. <laughs> Good job. We can say, thank you God for my teeth. Thank you God for my teeth. That helped me eat my food. And that helped me eat my food. That's exactly right. God created us in His image to look exactly how He wanted us to look. We should thank God for the way that we look instead of looking in the mirror and focusing on the things that we don't like. Was this fun? Yeah. This one's fun. I like making silly faces with you. Who made my eyelashes? Hmm, who made your eyelashes? God. God did, that's right. Say bye. Bye. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. It's been a joy to learn that God created us in His image and in His likeness. And our greatest purpose that He gave us was to glorify Him and worship Him, giving our lives to Him freely. This was such an important lesson that we learned today. So we hope that you use this time to discuss everything that we learned today with your family. Get everyone together and go over the questions because this is something that we should be talking about on a daily basis, about how God loves everyone and that we are created in His image. We are, we're all created in His image. It doesn't matter our skin color. It doesn't matter how old or how young we are, short or tall. Big or small, God loves everybody because he created everyone in his image. So let's share that with the world, letting everyone know that Jesus loves them. We love you guys. We hope you have a great day today and we miss you. Bye.